Now to breaking news from Norfolk. Police say someone may have been electrocuted at the Janif Shopping Center. That's on East Virginia Beach Boulevard, and that is where we find 10 on your sides, Anita Blanton. Anita? Yeah, Katie, it's the 5900 block of East Virginia Beach Boulevard where we are to be exact in the Janif shopping yard where this took place. And if you look here behind me, it's still an active scene. Uh, you can see that this area is cordoned off. There are police officers here on the scene uh, as well as several contractors for Dominion Virginia Power. Now, uh, there's not much information that police are giving us at this point in time, but let me just give you the information that I've been able to gather from uh, a nearby worker who was at a business when this all first took place. He says about 7 30 this morning he saw one worker come out here uh, who was working at the tesla supercharging center that was right here and then about a half hour later he saw another truck pull up with more contractors uh, now between that time again about eight o'clock in the morning and 10 30 uh, this is when the possible electrocution took place out here uh, he says that he began to see uh, several fire trucks and ambulance and also police come out here uh, they stopped and started cordoning off this area as it is right now. He stepped outside to the bank and he was able to see the man on the ground who we now know is deceased. Uh, so that is how he recalled it this morning. Uh, again, police are not giving us much information at this point in time other than to say that the man was pronounced dead here at the scene around 1030 again in the Janif shopping yard. Now this is the Tesla shoot, uh, supercharging center uh, where the possible electrocution took place and we did report on this uh, supercharging center back in May. We told you uh, that it was the first supercharging center for Tesla that was being placed in Norfolk. Uh, these supercharging centers uh, can charge up a car that is depleted uh, within about 30 minutes, and it can charge up to six cars at the same time. So, again, this is where they were this morning, working this morning, about starting at 7.30. 10.30 was when uh, police and fire trucks and paramedics got out here. We're still working to get much more information at this point in time. We don't have an ID of the person who was um, who died out here today and we also don't uh, know right now what the exact cause of death is it's just being called an undetermined death at this point so as we work to get more information stay with us here on the air also online at wavy.com we'll be putting more information out we'll try to have an updated report for you with much more information coming up tonight when i see you for wavy news 10 at four for now in norfolk anita blanton 10 on your side